In our previous lesson, you already learned that rocks can be classified as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. In this video, we will focus on igneous rocks and how they are formed. The first question is, what are igneous rocks? Igneous rocks are one of the three major categories of rocks. The word igneous is derived from the Latin word ignis or ignus which means fire. These rocks are commonly found in the surface and beneath the earth. At ang mga ito ay commonly found sa mga divergent boundaries, convergent boundaries, subduction zones at hotspots. Hindi lahat ng igneous rocks ay may pare-parehong physical and chemical properties. Nagkakaiba sila sa kanilang origin or kung saan sila nagmula, process of formation or paano nabuo, color, density, size ng grains, crystals, at iba pa. How are igneous rocks formed? Igneous rocks are formed through the process of solidification and crystallization of molten rocks, magma and lava. Kapag mainit at narating ang surface, nagkakaroon ng pagbabago sa temperature and pressure na nagre-resulta sa paglamig, pag-solidify at pag -crystallize. Moreover, may mga solidification at crystallization of magma beneath the earth. What are the types of igneous rocks based on their formation? In terms of formation, igneous rocks can be classified into two, intrusive and extrusive rocks. Tingnan natin ang table para makita natin ang differences between intrusive and extrusive rocks. Ang ating point of comparison between intrusive and extrusive rocks ay ang mga sumusunod. Other terminology, location, process of formation, origin, color, density, composition, rate of cooling, size of grains, and size of crystals. Para sa other terminology, makikita natin na ang other terminology for intrusive rocks ay protonic. Ang sa extrusive naman ay volcanic. Para sa location, ang mga intrusive rocks ay matatagpuan beneath the earth while extrusive rocks are found on the surface of the earth. Sa process of formation, ang intrusive ay plutonic, ang extrusive naman ay volcanic. Para sa origin, ang intrusive rocks ay formed mula sa magma while extrusive rocks are formed from lava. Tingnan natin ang color. Para sa color, um, intrusive are usually dark while extrusive rocks um, are light colored. For the density, dense ang intrusive while low the density naman for extrusive. Composition, mafic with magnesium and iron. For extrusive, felsic, um, usually feldspar at aluminum. Um, rate of cooling cools slowly. Para sa intrusive at cools quickly naman ang extrusive. For the size of grains, large or coarse grain ang intrusive while extrusive rocks naman are fine, small, small or no grains. Size of crystals, large ang crystals para sa intrusive at small or no crystals para sa extrusive rocks. Here are some examples of igneous rocks. Tingnan natin ang mga examples at kitang-kita na mayroong mga differences ang mga rocks na nakikita nyo ngayon in terms of texture, in terms of color, in terms of composition and the like. For the next question, what are the types of igneous rocks based on composition? Igneous rocks can also be classified according to their composition. Basically, ang mga igneous rocks ay binubuo ng silica. Pero hindi lahat ng igneous rocks ay pare-pareho ang silica content. Kapag may oversaturation, 
or sobrang dami ng silika sa magma, ang mga minerals ay mabubuo. On the other hand, kapag may undersaturation of silica in the magma, or sobrang kaunti lamang ang silica content, ang mga minerals ay hindi mabubuo. So, walang minerals na makikita sa igneous rocks. Ang isa pang naapektuhan ng silica content ay ang viscosity ng magma. May apat na classification ang igneous rocks base sa silica content. Ang una ay ang ultramafic igneous rocks. Mayroon itong very low silica content, less than 45%. Before forming into igneous rocks, ang magma nito ay mayroong very low viscosity. Ang kulay ay nagre-range sa black to olive green. Ang density ay mataas. Rich in pyroxene and olivine materials. Ang examples nito ay ang peridotite at dunite. Ang pangalawa ay ang mafic igneous rocks. Ito ay very low rin ang uh, silica content na umaabot sa 45 to 52%. At bago ma-form into igneous rocks, ang magma nito has low viscosity pero Mas visko siya sa ultramafic magma. Ang kulay ay black, mataas ang density, at mataas ang pyroxene, calcium-rich plagioclase, feldspar. Examples of these rocks are gabbro and basalt. Pangatlo, intermediate igneous rocks. Ang silica content nito ay mataas, na ang range ay 53% to 65% at bago ma-form into igneous rocks, ang magma ay may intermediate viscosity, more viscous than mafic magma, color is gray, density is intermediate at composed ng biotite, alkali, feldspar at quartz. Example of these rocks are diorite and andesite. Ang pang-apat ay ang felsic igneous rocks. Ito ay mayroong very high silica content, more than 65%. Before forming into igneous rocks, ang magma ay mayroong high viscosity, more viscous than the intermediate magma, may light color, very low ang density, composed of quartz and alkali feldspar. Ang examples of these rocks ay granite at rhyolite. To sum up, mapapansin ang difference ng apat na classification of igneous rocks in terms of color. Um, ang ultramafic ang may darkest color samantalang ang felsic naman ang may lightest color. At remember na kapag mataas ang silica content, lighter din ang kulay at kapag mababa ang silica content, darker naman ang color. Ang amount o ang dami ng silica content ay nakakaapekto sa kulay ng mga rocks. Sa illustration na ito, ipinapakita ang pagkakaiba ng ultramafic, mafic, intermediate at felsic igneous rocks, rock types, and kind, percentage of minerals, percentage of silica content, and ranges of temperature. Based from the illustration, felsic has the highest silica content while ultramafic has the lowest silica content. On the other hand, felsic is exposed to 700 degrees Celsius and ultramafic is exposed to 1000 200 degrees Celsius. Ang ibig sabihin nito kapag ang igneous rock ay exposed to high temperature, ang kulay ay darker while kapag exposed sa lower temperature, ang kulay ay light. What are the types of igneous rocks based on texture? Igneous have different textures. Textures of rock is the size and arrangement of the minerals it contains. Ang apat na types ng igneous rocks based from texture ay ang phaneritic texture. Rocks have large minerals, example granite. 
Athanitic texture, the mineral grains are too small to see with the unaided eye, example, basalt. Vesicular texture, rocks have many pits from the gas escape, example, basalt. Um, porphyritic texture, rocks have two distinct grain sizes, large and small, example, and the site porphyry. And glassy texture, example, obsidian. In this video, sinagot natin ang mga tanong na What are igneous rocks? How are igneous rocks formed? What are the types of igneous rocks based on their formation? What are the types of igneous rocks based on composition? And lastly, what are the types of igneous rocks based on texture?